least for you, practical advice on using protease inhibitor tablets. So this includes grinding them up before you put them in and making a stock solution uh, that you can then freeze aliquots of and add to your samples later. So let's see a little more detail. Things like these Pierce protease inhibitor or the Roche Complete, things like this. Basically, they are these little tablets that contain a bunch of different protease inhibitors that will keep proteases, so protein chewers, from chewing up proteins in things like your lysate. Um, and so we often add it and these are nice and preformed and everything but they can be a little difficult to work with and so the key thing is that you want to don't just dissolve the whole try don't try to dissolve the whole thing like this instead you want to like kind of like grind it up a little and i'll show you how i do that um and as well as you might not have the as much as a pellet is for. So like one of these tablets, like the normal size ones, like one tablet for 50 mils, and you not, not have 50 mils of sample. This one, even the mini, is still like 15 mils. And so if you have less, what you can actually do though is you can make a more concentrated stock solution and you can save that stock solution in like the freezer. So they say that in the freezer it can be good for up to like six months. Um, if you want to just keep it in the fridge, that'll be good for a week or two. Basically, if, if you want to make a 25x of this, if it normally goes into 50, well now if you dissolve it in 2 milliliters, you have a 25x. And so basically, that would be every milliliter of that, 1 milliliter of that, for a 25 micro. 25 milliliter total solution um, and you can aliquot that out store it in your minus 20 and now if you have smaller amounts that you want to add your protease inhibitor to you can without having to have 50 mils of solution but regardless you're going to want to grind it up first you always want to add the protease inhibitor fresh um, because it's subject to like oxidation and things like this which is also why you might like want to wrap it up in in parafilm sorry i almost called parafilm saran wrap it is way cooler than saran wrap but anyway, and it also has this like foam insert, which can make it kind of hard to get, um, to get the pellet, the tablets out. So I start by taking a piece of wayboat paper and just like folding it in half. And now use your spatula to kind of get under the foam layer in the, in here and scoop a tablet out. So this is a, one of the full size tablets. Um, and so it's gonna be 50 mils worth, but I'm gonna make a 25X stock. So I'm gonna dissolve it in two mils of water. I have my two mils of water ready already because you want to add to the water. Don't try to add the water on top of it or else you're just gonna kind of like clump all the solid into the bottom of this and make it really hard to dissolve. To make it easier to dissolve, we're going to increase the surface area. So we're going, to, what I basically do is I just stick the tablet in the center and then take the, end of the spatula and kind of just break it up into small pieces to make it easier to dissolve. And you can do this even if you're going straight into your buffer or if you're doing a stock solution. And now, got it nice and folded, you can just pour it into your tube. It's going to take a while to dissolve, so go stick it on like the end end or a end over end rotator and let it dissolve. Now just add it when you need it and your sample should be safe for the from those proteases. Speaking of which, your sample might be safe from the proteases but not from the protease inhibitors. So if you're working with something that you that is metal dependent or you're going to do like a histag purification, something like this, you want to use one that's EVTA free. Um, the EVTA is a chelator, it's a metal binder, it's going to steal the metal um, and so it'll steal it from the proteins that need it or from your like the proteins from your column if you're trying to do a nickel affinity chromatography it'll just like come off so edta free is the way to go for that